Good Monday morning to you, 8.56 right now. I'm Chris McKinnon. Let's get right over to Daniel Niles with a look at our hot forecast. Hey, good morning, Chris. Good morning, everybody. Temperatures rising through the 70s, 77 now in Nashville, back down to Taunton near 80 in Chatham on our way to lower 90s today. A little humid out there, too. 92 in Boston and Norwood, 91 in Plymouth this afternoon. Mid to upper 80s on the Cape. We hold off the sea breeze today. It will be storm-free. Tomorrow that ocean breeze does kick in, though. Cools us down, low 80s at the beaches, mid 80s inland, back into the 90s on Wednesday. A pop-up storm Thursday brings in less humid air to end the week and a great-looking weekend. Traffic and weather together, Roby. Danielle, a lot of problems west of the city right now. The Mass Pike is a tough ride. Eastbound, bumper to bumper between Route 9 and Route 30, then crawls again from Newton Corner to the Austin Brighton Tolls. And Route 2, that's getting a little ugly, too, due to an earlier crash. Eastbound on Route 2, jammed from the prison rotary in Concord back to School Street in Acton. Chris? Roby, thank you very much. Let's check our top stories on this Monday morning. A man accused of sexually assaulting a woman and then trying to claim a reward for information in that case is expected in court this morning for a dangerousness hearing. The 18-year-old victim was walking in Lowell early in the morning when she was grabbed and then dragged into an alleyway. Police say Kevin Suarez walked into a, the police station the next day to give a tip about the assault. Suarez has pleaded not guilty. Uh, to assault with intent to rape. Tom Brady and Roger Goodell heading back to court this morning to try to put an end to the deflate gate drama. Both sides will appear before the federal judge in Manhattan. Goodell suspended Brady over deflated footballs used in January's AFC championship game. The NFL Players Association has asked the judge to vacate Brady's four-game suspension. And changes are coming to the Boston intersection where a doctor was hit and killed while riding her bike. Dr. Anita Kerman, a Swiss researcher working in Boston, died when she collided with a flatbed truck at Mass Ave and Beacon Street earlier this month. Crews worked over the weekend to install a protected bike lane. The Globe is reporting they're also trimming back trees to improve visibility and changing traffic signal times to improve pedestrian safety. Our next newscast is coming up today at noontime. And don't forget, you can always get your news at cbsboston.com 24-7. Have a great day.